person occupying the office of Ohio Attorney General is known as the people's lawyer because it's the AG who gets the call if police departments or sheriff's offices need help or if citizens need assistance maintaining their rights, staying safe, or avoiding consumer scams. Two of the candidates this fall include Democrat incumbent Richard Cordray and Republican Mike DeWine, the former U.S. Senator. DeWine began his elected legal career as Greene County Prosecutor, then served as Ohio's Lieutenant Governor before being elected to the U.S. Senate. He lost a bid for re-election to Democrat Sherrod Brown. The Internet is a great tool. My family uses it on a daily basis for their schoolwork and for their homework, but there are criminals and predators out there who are using the Internet as well. So what can be done to make the Internet safer for my family and what penalties can be made tougher for the people that break the rules. As the Attorney General, this will be one of my real top priorities. And the way you do it is you help local law enforcement so that they can take these people off the streets. If you're elected Attorney General and the governor who's elected is from a different political party, how do you square the public policy issues that might arise to best serve the people? As we all know, the Attorney General is elected. Uh, he is not appointed by the governor. He does not serve in the governor's cabinet, so he's independent. I will be fiercely independent. I will call it as I see it. In light of the changing demographics of the state of Ohio, what will your office do to ensure that all citizens can worship as they please, speak as they please, and do as they please. I'm a great believer, uh, as we all are, uh, in the First Amendment. Uh, and as Attorney General, uh, we will go against any discrimination uh, wherever we find it. We will work with local law enforcement in that area as well. And we will be very open. Foreclosures in the state of Ohio are skyrocketing and are not showing any signs of slowing down. As Attorney General, what should you do to help these homeowners in distress? One of the things that we have to do is to work to help improve our economy. Uh, under the current Attorney General, we've lost over 400,000 jobs, approximately 400,000 jobs. Uh, Obama health care uh, is not going to help jobs. Uh, I have said that I am against that. Uh, I have said that if I was the Attorney General, I would join the other 20 attorney generals who have filed a lawsuit against Obama health care because I think not only is it going to hurt jobs in the state of Ohio and cost us jobs and make it more difficult for people to stay in their homes but it's also I believe unconstitutional. We all know today budgets are tight for law enforcement especially for small communities. If elected what can you do to assist law enforcement in training evidence processing and obtaining additional grants. One of the reasons I'm running for Attorney General is because I don't like what I'm seeing out of the current Attorney General's office, uh, particularly in regard to the state crime lab. We have huge delays at the state crime lab. What that means is when you get evidence and it goes to BCI, the state crime lab run by the Attorney General, it may be four, five, six, ten months before the evidence is ever tested and you have results back. This recession economy has increased the number of health care, foreclosure, and other consumer scams, especially from out-of-state perpetrators. What will you do to protect Ohio residents from these recession scams? As a former county prosecuting attorney, uh, we will vigorously go after uh, consumer fraud scams. Uh, I have a background as a county prosecutor. I have tried cases. I have gone after bad people. And I will go after bad people who are doing things to, to, to our community, who are hurting uh, our citizens with scams. If elected Attorney General, what top three enforcement areas would you view as your priorities? Susan, I think the principal job of the Attorney General of the state uh, is to help train law enforcement through OPATA, uh, which I will take out to the communities. Second thing is to shape up BCI, the crime lab. Third thing, vigorously go after uh, consumer fraud. Uh, this is one of the areas that is charged by law with the Attorney General. The Attorney General has a great deal of jurisdiction. And frankly, I will use my experience as a county prosecuting attorney uh, to work in this area. There's a much longer version of the DeWine interview in the Democracy 2010 section of WCPO.com. Tom McKee, 9 News in Columbus. It's okay to...